Hi, my name is Elizabeth Rodriguez Heck and I'm an optimization support engineer at Gurobi. In this video, I will show how to fix some of the most common Gurobi Pi installation issues. I will be using macOS, but the same fixes can be used in Windows or Linux. This video is part of a series of introductory and support videos to guide new users through getting started with Gurobi and to answer some of the most frequently asked support questions. You can find links to all of our videos in the comments below. These are the two common Gurobi Pi installation errors that I will be discussing. In the description section below, you can find an outline of the video so that you can jump directly to the error message that you are currently encountering. Let's start with the error message no module named Gurobi Pi. For this, I just opened the terminal application. Now I will open the Gurobi Interactive Shell. And from here, I can create a model. And I can optimize it. This works fine, showing that Gurobi is correctly installed. So I closed the interactive shell. And now I want to test one of the Python examples that comes with the Gurobi installation. So I will run Python. This is my Gurobi installation directory. And in the examples directory, you can find a series of examples which are sorted by API. In this case, I want to test a Python example. And I will choose mip1.py. And here I get the error message, no module named Gurobi Pi. This error happens because in order to use the Python API, in addition to installing the Gurobi software itself, you also have to install the Python package, Gurobi Pi. This can be easily done, for example, using pip. So for this, you can run the command python -m pip install Gurobi Pi. And we can see that Gurobi Pi was installed successfully. Now we can test the Python example again. And we see that it works. Remember that you can find more details on installing Gurobi for Python on our knowledge base. For example, in this article, you can find the pip command that I used to install Gurobi Pi. Let's continue with the Gurobi era model too large for size limited license. First, let's try to understand how this error happens. For this, I prepared a very simple example. In this example, I import Gurobi Pi, I create a model, and then I add 2000 integer variables, and I optimize. I currently don't have Gurobi Pi installed in my system. So if I try to run my example, it doesn't work. But as we just saw, if I get this error, I simply have to install Gurobi Pi. And now I should be able to run my example correctly. In this case, at the beginning of the output of the run, we can see the message restricted license. This message appears because the pip installation that I just did automatically comes with a license that is limited to models having at most 2000 variables, 2000 constraints, and 200 quadratic constraints. So let's try to test a larger example. In the example that I prepared, I was using 2000 variables, which is exactly within the limits. So let's see what happens if I add 2001 variables. Now I get the error message model too large for size limited license. To fix this error, I can simply set up a full Gurobi license. 
I will do this quickly here. For more details, please have a look at the video Kurobi installation walkthrough. Let's fix my license. For this, I have logged in into my Gurobi account on the Gurobi website. I will find an active license. And I will copy the corresponding grb get key command. And I will run it from the terminal. I want to store the license in one of the Gurobi default locations. Okay, Gurobi couldn't store it in this location. There is another default location suggested. So I will store my license here. If I now try to run my larger example again, Gurobi should be able to find the full license because it's stored in one of the default locations and I should be able to solve my example. And this is the case. As you saw, Groby has a few default locations. These are the locations where it will look for a license. In the grb get key step, you can also store your license file in an alternative location. But in this case, you must adjust the environment variable grb license file as described in this knowledge base article. Otherwise, Groby will not find your full license and will keep using the PIP limited size license. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please check out the other videos in this series for installation guides and getting started. Remember that you can find more information on our support portal with knowledge base articles, the community forum, or if your installation issue is more complex, you can open a support request.